Hey guys, Nathan here. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about the development of the Dietz Delight Lantern. And the reason I'm picking the Dietz Delight Lantern as my first video for here on Real Lanterns is that the Dietz Delight is what got me hooked on collecting lanterns. Let me tell you a real quick story. It was this lantern right here, eight years ago. In fact, I remember it, July of 2013. I went to a garage sale and I found this lantern. I think they had like 20 bucks on it. And those of you that are collectors are going, hey, a, to a top lift delight for 20 bucks. I didn't know what I had going on there. In fact, I may have even tried to talk them down a little bit on this. But the neat thing about this, I got this lantern. I just thought it was kind of cool. Got home, started doing some research on it. Deets. Oh, yeah. So you can kind of see right there. Deets. And it's got D-Light on it. Well, hey, Google. Deets. Hey, lantern company. Cool. Delight. All right, got a little bit of information on that. In fact, let me give a quick shout out to lanternet.net, Woody Kirkman and Madison Kirkman. They are just phenomenal. They're like the grand poobas of lanterns. I'll drop a link to their store and their website down below. In fact, a lot of the information I've got here comes from them and from a couple of, of Facebook pages. The lantern community is just an awesome community. That's what, half of what makes me like collecting lanterns so much. But on with my story here. So I got this one. I did a little research on it. And one thing that's really neat about Dietz, first of all, Dietz has been around, if you know anything about lanterns, they've been around for over 150 years. And you can still buy a, Dietz, a new Dietz, to lantern, Dietz lantern today. I'll talk a little bit more about that later too. But anyway, I got to looking at what is all what all goes into this. And I found out one thing that's really neat about most of the Dietz lanterns is that right in the air tube here it has stamped when it was made and this particular lantern has a stamp that's an s a dash and then a seven and then a dash and then 13. what that stood for is the s stands for that it was made in Dietz's syracuse new york plant the seven means that it was made in the seventh month or july and the 13 was the year and so this was made in july of 1913. so this lantern was exactly 100 years old when i got it how cool is that right but then the other thing is is i i took a little bit of lamp oil i did this also earlier today put a little lamp oil in here and i tried to light it let's see what happens if i try to light it today now here neat thing about these is this is a top lift we'll talk more about them in a second this is a top lift and what that allowed you to do is it allowed you to tip the globe back out of the way so that we could light it. Let's see if we get any, if we can still light it today. There we go. Drop that top down on there. Of course, it's going a little hot right now, but when you can adjust the wick down, and there you have it. A hundred, well now it's a 108 year old lantern. We took this lantern with us camping that year, put it on our, our picnic table, but this is the one that really got me hooked. So we're going to talk today about the development of the Dietz Delight Lantern. But before we do that, I'm going to ask you what everybody on YouTube asks you. Please subscribe to this channel, hit the like button, comment below, you know, hit the notifications and things like that. I'll give you a few seconds to do that and then we'll jump into the Delight Lanterns. So let's take a look at the history of the Dietz Delight Lantern. And to get into the history, we've got to take travel back in time to 1912. And to give you a frame of reference of 1912, back in 1912, a postage stamp cost two cents. Arizona and New Mexico were the 47th and 48th states of the Union. The Girl Scouts just got formed. In fact, Nabisco also released the Oreo cookie. So for those of us that are cookie fans, 1912 was a great year. Teddy Roosevelt was the president, and 1912 was also when that famous Titanic hit that iceberg and sank. But it was also in 1912 that two lantern companies, Dietz, which we're talking quite a bit about today, and the C.T. Ham Company, they came out with their short globe lanterns. The Dietz Delight here, whoa, don't touch the top, it gets hot. And I've got a couple examples here. We'll take closer looks at those in just a second the two Dietz Delight, but then also C.T. Ham came out with their new style lantern. And if you notice, these lanterns are very similar. 
They've got that upper lift for the for the globe. Almost identical lanterns here. And these were based off of Warren MacArthur and Warren MacArthur Jr.'s patents on this short globe lantern here. So let's take a little bit closer look at these. So let's take a closer look at the Dietz Delight and the CT Ham New Style Lantern. If you notice on both of the lanterns, there's this lift mechanism right here that just lifts up this top chimney away from the globe. Same thing over here on the CT Ham. Again, structurally these are, I mean, they're based off of the same pattern, or patents, excuse me. They've obviously got some different design fluting here versus here, and of course, the naming on the top, this one says, as you can see there, Dietz Delight. And this one, let me get that focused there. Let's see. Yeah. So that one actually says Ham Light on the top. It's kind of a neat logo there. Okay. And this particular uh, Ham New Style, CD Ham New Style, has the brass font. Not all of them were made that way. And this one here, the Dietz Delight, this one is painted black. Not all of them were painted, in fact, none of them were painted black, but this one, this is the way I happened to get this one, and being that it was my very first one, I wanted to keep it in the condition that I got it. And I just think it's so neat. Something 108 years old can be used to this day. So from 1912 to 1914, Dietz had their delight and New Style had their lanterns. And then in 1914, a few things happened. First thing is, is the, the Dietz company bought out CT Ham. So when they acquired CT Ham, there was no need to have identical lanterns. And of course, they were going to put it under the Dietz name. So it was in 1914 that they started phasing out the New Style lantern. And I think they were pretty much phased out by 1915. So that, that's what makes the CT Ham New Style fairly collectible because it was only made from 1912 to about 1915. So Dietz phased out the CT Ham lantern. We're just going to put this one off to the side. And then they also introduced the Wizard and the Little Wizard lantern. Here's the Wizard, and I'm going to take, we're going to take closer looks at this in a second. The Wizard lantern, and then the Little Wizard is its three-quarter size little brother. So from 1914 forward, they had the Dietz i got to really not touch that top of that. The Dietz Delight, the Wizard, and the Little Wizard. Let's take a closer look at the Wizard, maybe a little bit at the Little Wizard as well. So here, let's take a closer look at the Dietz Wizard. The Dietz Wizard, some of, if you notice there, this particular model has the vertical and the horizontal reinforcement beads. It's got the traditional thumb lift here to lift the globe and the and the chimney up to access the the burner below it's got a brass this particular one has a brass base and a brass cap if you can find them in brass it's a little more collectible definitely but you can find a lot of them in the tin as well now when Dietz came out with the Dietz wizard like like I said earlier it's also they also came out with the Dietz Little Wizard, the three-quarter inch version. If you notice, they're almost identical in structure, just smaller. Kind of cute. Hey. Now, Deeds Wizard came out with a couple of variations. They had an inspector's lamp. I don't have that one in my collection. Maybe some of you, if you've got that, can, can post a link to one or something like that. That was more for, you know, it had a handle on the back, would be used for inspecting train cars, things like that. They also came out with one like this one here. This is called the Dietz. In fact, you can see the, the name right on the back there. It's the Dietz Wizard Dash Lamp. This is what I use for my inventory. That could be another video right there. But the Dietz Wizard Dash Lamp, notice the large magnifying glass in there. This way, it wouldn't have been painted either, but, and it would have had a much more reflective back here to help reflect the light forward. And also then this back blocked the light so it wouldn't be blinding somebody that would be driving at night. And it has this spring-loaded clamp on the back 
that allowed you, them to put it literally on the dashboard of a wagon, you know, that front board. Uh, they could clip it right onto the, the front board of a wagon there. So that's the Dietz, da you know, Dietz Wizard dash lamp. And then this one right here, this was the Dietz Wizard fire department lantern. Notice it came in in the nickel chrome here. It actually had or has two handles here. The top one was, you know, big thick handle. Firemen could grab it with their gloves. This one right here, and turn it on the side, this would be what would be clipped, and then there would be a holder that would come down to the bottom and clip around the bottom, and that's how they mounted it to their fire truck or fire wagon in, in most cases would be with that holder there. I don't have one of those holders to show, but uh, maybe somebody in the, in the chat could, or in the comments could, could drop something in there. A couple things that are neat with this Dietz fire department lantern. First of all, it's got this big, what they call a, a, a shield, a water shield here. You know, when, you, when you're going into a fire and there's a lot of water and fire around there, you didn't want that water getting in there and putting out your light source. It was made with a double, a very solid. This, this lantern is easily twice the weight of the other Dietz Wizards. It was made with a solid double in, double um, font so that you know it wouldn't crack under heat and spill kerosene into the fire. It's obviously not a good thing if you're walking into a fire. You don't want to spill a few ounces of extra kerosene on the fire. It has these clips on the side here that would then allow them to get access to the globe and to light it, obviously to put the fuel in there as well. And then one other thing I thought was so neat with this, and I didn't know what it was when I first got it. Let me put these guys back on here. Can you see these little loops? There's one on that side, and then there's one over here on this side. For a while it took me, I was wondering, what are those little loops for? Well, when this would be hanging on that bracket on the side of their fire truck, what those little loops would allow it to do is clip down that handle so that handle wouldn't be bouncing up and down as the horses were getting the, the firemen to the fire. So these are a few of the Dietz Wizards, and as we'll talk about, that's the predecessor to the Dietz Delight. So from 1914 to 1919, that span of five years, Dietz ran with the Delight, the Wizard, and the Little Wizard. But what they realized in that span of time is that the Dietz Delight and the Dietz Wizard didn't really offer much of a difference as far as functionality goes. They both were roughly the same wick size, same globe size. In fact, they use interchangeable globes. Uh, so in the Dietz Delight, this top lift mechanism was fairly expensive. So it was in 1919 they decided to phase out the Dietz Delight. And what they did is so they phased out the Dietz Delight. They put the Dietz Delight name on the wizard. And they did that for two reasons. One is because they were phasing this out, but the Dietz Delight name had that high quality reputation. But the other reason was is that the Dietz Wizard and the Dietz Little Wizard, while they thought it was a great marketing idea in the beginning, turned out to be uh, actually a struggle for dealers and uh, you know, parts. People would order, hey, I need, I need parts for my wizard, not putting the little, the little portion on the front of it, and they'd end up getting the smaller globe or the smaller uh, burner size, that sort of thing. So it made sense to Dietz to swap out the, the name for the wizard and make that the delight. So that's what they did starting in 1919. So if you look at, we're going to, the, the Little Wizard stuck around. In fact, you can still get the Little Wizard today. But we're focusing on the Delight, not the Little Wizard. So let's take a look at the Wizard and the Delight. If you notice, oops, actually, that's another top lift Delight. Let's get that guy out of here. So here's a wizard and here's a delight. And in fact, this is a real nice one. I just finished uh, refinishing that one. It's got the brass on the top and the bottom. They weren't all that way. In fact, most of them were, were tin on the top and the bottom as well. So if you notice, 
the Deets Wizard and the Deets Delight, essentially the same lantern. So that's where the Deets Delight name went to. So from this point forward until 1947, this was roughly the model that they, they carried. It was a very successful model. Ran for, from 1919 up until 47. It was in 1947 they discontinued this model. And part of the reason they discontinued this model is that back in 1937, Ruth Girth and Joseph Sinnell, two industrial engineers, developed what was called the Streamlined Dietz model, Dietz Delight model. Let's take a look at this one here. So Dietz Wizard was no longer, and they came out with a Streamlined Dietz Delight model. Here's a quick close-up of a Dietz Streamline. Now this one is nothing fancy. In fact, you can see it's got a little bit of uh, wear and tear on it. Sometimes that's really neat with the with the lanterns. I love the red globes. If I can get one, I'll put one in uh, most often. Not always, but uh, this is the Streamline model that was designed from, well, it was designed in 1937, and it was sold from 1937 until 1957. And then reared its head, came back with a new tooling as the Dietz Number no. Nine Air Pilot. When they moved the manufacturing over to Hong Kong, they brought back the original Dietz Delight tooling, and you can still get this to this day as the Dietz Delight Number no. Ninety. Again, it's the Dietz Number no. Ninety Delight. So there, there you have it. You can pick up this lantern today. It's, it gives a great amount of light. All, it's very simple. It uses kerosene or lamp oil. And you can light it, take it camping with you, have it as a backup if the lights go out. Very safe, very economical lantern there. So if you like this video, you like learning about lanterns, click the like button or subscribe to this channel. In fact, I'm working on, the next video I'll be working on is a video on glass fount lanterns. So Dietz made those, CT Ham made those. Got a couple other ones, um, uh, Warren Manufacturing, the Winfield Lanterns, and, and a few others. And then if you have any ideas of things you want to see, post them in the, in the comments. I'd love to, love to get your opinion on, on what we can do next. Thanks, guys. Take care.